What is going on, guys? Wiser here, and I'm bringing you the recap for the last war for Invicta. Uh, it was against the South Korean clan, and they were pretty dang good, that's for sure. They had some really nice bases, uh, brought some pretty uh, pretty uh, different uh, style attacks, but really, really decent clan overall. Looked like they were fair play. Um, it's hard to tell, but they did have something strange. So let's just flip over and check it out. 76 to 75, they actually had a higher total destruction. Um, so yeah, level 8 clan, uh, they definitely knew what they were doing, as you can see, uh, South Korea, um, you know, 123 wins, but what, what got me here was that your simulation can't beat our brain, brain, brains, I'm assuming, um, so you can only take one thing from that, uh, definitely didn't see anything too fishy, they, they had some they had some near misses and uh, brought some really nice three stars at the same time. So uh, good for them. <clears throat> uh, Invicta missed a couple tens and a handful of the nines, uh, but brought some sexy, sexy attacks. Um, definitely uh, had some difficulty choosing which ones I wanted to show here, but we're going to start off with Sword hitting their top nine. <clears throat> so. Sword brings a sexy little queen walk here. Ah, sorry. Uh, just kind of opens up on that army camp. Uh, so she can just walk in, start taking out this dark elixir storage. Takes forever. Uh, but going to go ahead and drop some healers on that queen. And this queen is going to walk all the way up and around. You'll see the value he gets out of this queen walk. It's actually pretty unreal. Especially considering healers are junk now, in my opinion. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to toss my cat off my computer. Uh, but so he's just going to continue moving up. Da, 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 da. Queen just takes forever to do this stuff, even this level 30 queen. But there's nothing even attacking her. You notice that? Like there's there's no threat to her whatsoever. It's just starting to take out this entire base. And with that extra 30 seconds, your queen walk can take as long as it freaking wants, right? As, as long as she lives. It's good. Uh, going to have to get out of the crossbow range here. There it is. And you can see she, he's just going to get insane value out of this queen. She's about 20% into this base now and has barely been attacked. Uh, this archer tower is locked on. Kind of, see, look at this. One archer tower is keeping her from four healers healing her up to full. Anyone tells me that the healers aren't nerfed, like that's ridiculous. One archer tower and the healers cannot heal her up. Um, so as you can see, it has to, has to pop the rage here on the king. No big deal. Again, we're like a full minute <laughs> into this queen watch, taking out 25% of the base. Goes ahead and sends in a shattered entry finally at about the 5 o'clock position. Creates his funnel. is about 4 or 5 wizards down. Golems are going to move in over that jump spell. King's going to back them up. Everything's going to move in. King's going to lock right onto that defensive queen. Smack her down. Look at that queen walk go up there. She is just still just rocking this base like it's nothing. Hogs going to here too. I like this. Little heel goes down over these hogs. And it's going to get this Tesla farm. Another Tesla pops here, right? I think he gets all the Tesla. They do pit her out on the cannon, but he didn't drop that many hogs. Still has a bunch. He drops a few on this wizard tower. A few, few down here to help the king out. Wizard Tower is going to go down. That queen is still doing work. Basically, just three, you know, she's, <laughs> where did she start? Over here. So she's done a 180 around the pace. Uh, finally, the healers are getting targeted by an air defense there. But these hogs are going to jump. Uh, yeah, these hogs are going to die to that giant, giant bomb. But the one survives. Two survive, actually. Crazy. Air defense goes down. The queen is still moving. There's one Tesla remaining. Like, <laughs> crazy, crazy raid sword. <laughs> the queen has now made it <laughs> almost all the way around the base. That was ridiculous. Nice job, buddy. All right, number eight, Alpha. One more sip here. I had an insanely long day today. Um, Alpha brings a textbook shattered lalo here and one thing i want to try and do for you guys is sometimes i just blabber on about crap about the attack that's not really too relevant in trying to explain exactly what the guy's trying to do with with the troops that he's dropping um so i'm trying to i, I definitely want to come up with more uh, offensive series on the how-to's of to do these certain attacks um 
but yeah, I, I'm going to try it in my future recaps, at least for the time being, to explain them a little better and what he's thinking. So what he's doing here, he's sending two golems. Uh, king and queen back it up. Notice he dropped all the wizards kind of on the buildings first to make sure he leaves these buildings on the inside for everything to follow into the base. So he does that. The king goes in. Now the idea with the king is he's trying to get the king in there to take out the defensive queen, using the golems as a shield to get him in there. So that was all successful. Um, at the same time, he wanted to get both of those air defense, which was also successful. So notice there's only two air defense left. He's got three Lama Hounds. So uh, as a general rule, it's always good. Two air defense. You bring an extra hound, so he's got three Lava Hounds. And then goes ahead and drops them at different angles to get tanking for his balloons to get them in on top of these defenses. And just drops a couple per defense. You'll see the haste goes down to start pushing everything through, right? Because he needs this air defense to go down. But, you know, he didn't just spam his loons. He didn't spam his hounds, right? That last hound he is just now deploying. Same kind of idea on this side. Drops the balloons after the hound. He let after the, the hound gets in there to tank. Drops the haste to get them right on top of the defenses. And bam, bam, bam. You can see... Oh, excuse me. They just go down like nothing. Uh, his crossbow, boom, boom. Crossbow is down. That rage is down to get him over to the last uh, two Teslas and that sweeper. And it's GG. Sexy attack, Alpha. Just textbook. And I don't know. I don't want to put my foot in my mouth here. But if I had to guess, the most, I don't know, a first hit when you don't know where the traps are. I think a Shattered Lalo probably has, and I could be wrong, it's kind of just my opinion from what I see, Shattered Lalo is almost your safest TH9, max TH9 attack, especially on a first hit. Because you know, when you don't know where the bombs are on a good anti-3 base, it's, it's really difficult to use hogs sometimes. Uh, it takes some serious planning and studying of the base to figure out where the make sense bombs are. Um, so, with that being said, Shattered Lalo is extremely safe because you don't need to worry about where the bombs are. You just have to have a really good deployment of your spells and your troops. And you'll have a fairly high success rate as long as your kill squad uh, does the job. So, um, just something to keep in mind. Uh, Shattered Lalo is definitely, definitely a, a, a crucial uh, attack to have in the bag um, in your... In your uh, I guess, array of attacks at uh, Town Hall 9, especially moving up into max, because uh, it has an extremely high success rate. And we'll move on. Okay. Queen Cordelia. Uh, it, it's been moved, moved up to Invicta for a little while now. Uh, and is just a beast. Like, some of these attacks I see her do are just sexy. So, notice the two lightnings go down. Eco goes down to finish off the air defense. So, it does a little zap quake action there. Uh, and again, this is... Look at the army comp. Almost exactly what we just saw Alpha bring. Um except the zap quake so the spells get adjusted a little bit but the fundamental is still the same right um this kill squad is going to go in get the queen get that air defense the zap quake took care of the other air defense and the defensive queen is going to go down along with the clan castle troops all right boom it's just like you got to just think if, if you can take out one air defense and have four lava hounds with about 14 balloons you're looking pretty good as long as you understand where your spell deployment and troop deployment needs to be same thing if you can get two air defense and have three lava hounds and 14 balloons same idea all right so these are this is how you you break down these lalos and you you can have really high success rate actually at town hall nine it, it it's not going to happen right away take some time on the deployment i'm still fairly horrible with lalo <laughs> Um, so it takes a lot of practice guys. I can't stress that enough. This doesn't just happen overnight. Um, but you can see same idea as alpha, right? Two lava hounds on that first air defense gets the balloons in on those other defenses as soon as possible. So that air defense can go down that one more, the full lava hound, the second one can go over and help the third one on this last remaining air defense while balloons kind of move in and take everything out. Haste just kind of go in a horseshoe. One more haste is going to go over this core to kind of take out the Teslas and bust everything on over to the expo, I believe. There it is. Tesla goes down. There's a grounded expo and then a little chunk of defenses here at 6 o'clock and it's clean up. These, my friends, are today's shattered Lalos. That's how you do it. <laughs> QC, by the way, bringing these sexy attacks. I'm very impressed. Very, very impressed. Keep bringing these. You'll be uh, 2.0 in no time. 
Alright. That was 12. What do I got? 17? Yeah. Pants. I really like this one. Here's another queen walk for you. I'm a big fan of the one witch. If you can keep that witch alive, I think it gives you huge value. Any troop, like with the witch, is the only troop that produces its own troops. So there's got to be something said in that, especially when you're against a town hall mine, because there's only, you know, I guess it's true for a lot of units, um, but witches are susceptible to splash damage. Mortars, wizard towers, right? They rip with they rip witches up. However, if you can keep witches protected for a huge, huge portion and duration of the raid, you got to think how many skeletons are getting produced. Those are just free units. So, in my opinion, if you can bring fit one witch into your little kill squad and keep it alive for a reasonably long amount of time, it has an amazing value. So, but take a look at Pants' queen walk here. So, big chunk of the base now taken out. Uh, it's clear she's just going to continue walking her way down here. Uh, does get the CC troops full though. Had the double poison ready for it, but I don't know how many. Yeah, so see the wizard tower goes down, hog goes in to get the lure out right in the queen. This is all all going exactly as planned, except the lava hound coming out of the CC. Uh, I can tell this immediately was a first hit because you wouldn't bring two poisons if you knew it was a lava hound. Um, so the queen goes ahead and locks on. It, it works out fine. Drops the wizard to help the queen out because he really did want to kind of keep moving it down and end up meeting up with the kill squad. Um, but it doesn't matter, like I said. So Shattered Entry just keeps keeps on with the plan. Shattered Entry goes in. All the wizards kind of creating that funnel. This witch is going to go down once the wall gets opened. Oh, the jump goes down. It had four wall breakers there. Maybe he lets the queen... I think he lets the queen in somewhere around here. That's that's right with the wall breakers. I don't know if that was planned or what, but... Anyhow, race goes down. See that witch getting in there. Look how long this witch lives. I think it's a fair amount of time. I hope I don't put my foot in my mouth on that one. Um, but all those skeletons get in there just causing ruckus, you know, and <laughs> free units, four, 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 just sending them in, taking hits from those defenses, like, um, yeah, it's just ridiculous. Uh, so DGB gets triggered by the kill squad there as well. Defense queen is down. CC is taken care of. Looking fine and dandy. Hogs go in. There's like, look, air defense, expo, air defense, sweeper, air defense, cannon maybe down here, but the queen is about to take it out. This king is tanking forever. Um, <laughs> but that little goal might actually help so too. So the hogs didn't have to do even anything this raid. And, and guess what? It's still working on this goal storage down there. <laughs> that witch doesn't really do, do too much after this point. Um, I think the skellies finally chew through this wall. No, the hogs get to clean up. Oh well. Pants. Really great attack, man. I enjoyed so uh different style of attack as the last one i'm going to show you here my buddy dota so notice his spell combination eight quakes when i first saw this i was like oh the other one's going to go down like here and just open up almost the rest of the base no notice this one goes down one goes down one goes down and one goes down he got four defensive structures with every earthquake and i was kind of questioning it at first but i thought that was actually a really cool idea so now all of these defenses in these the this those four sections um are all softened up for his hogs so i thought that was really cool he does this with no king but uh, brings a pekka just to, add, to act as his king right he needs that pekka to lock onto that queen and take her down uh poison goes down takes care of the cc troops like nothing brings the double poison but doesn't even opt to like you have two poisons you could have killed those uh substantially quicker but you don't need it poison's overpowered as this we've gone over this but notice these hogs how quickly they get through all these initial defenses right like the cannons everything like a few swings and everything goes down so he could have brought a poison and uh two earthquakes or sorry a heal and two earthquakes which I thought might have been a better idea and use those on his entry points for his hogs and then maybe kept them more in a clump and fed them up and around and healed them. But either way, how do you critique a three-star, especially a creative attack like that? 
builder side at the top but ain't no thing because we get an extra 30 seconds now for those builders huts exactly poor poor town hall nine just don't stand a chance anymore whoa builders hut it's all good we got this <laughs> uh, oh i really hope we see some changes coming up i guess i guess time will tell um, so hope you guys enjoyed the recap. It was a very very interesting war for Invicta. I'm really nice, I'm really glad they pulled it out. Um, nice to see you know 60 60 attacks, a very close random matchup. Those are always the good ones because you're not ready for it. You guys got, you got guys like you just saw Dota is down a hero, but um, these guys clearly you know had some decent three anti three stars. They knew what they were doing. They brought some good attacks. So uh, congrats Invicta, great win, great great green stripe in that book. So um, I'm gonna call it a night. So that does it for your wisdom from Wiser. I'm just trying to help you guys bag that next three star and until then i'm up